In this example, we'll show how to plot points on a graphing calculator, specifically a TI graphing calculator. So the question reads, according to the US Census Bureau, the number of Americans over the age of 100 is increasing. The Census Bureau reported the following data where the number of people is measured in the thousands. We have data from 1994 to 2004, every other year, and it goes from 50,000 up to 110,000. And we're gonna use a graphing calculator to graph this data. Now when we do this, instead of entering 1994, 1996, 1998 for the years, I'm going to set 1994 as the beginning of this process, so we'll call that t equals zero. So we'll use zero for the first year, then two, four, six, eight, and ten for the following years. In the calculator, we're going to open the statistics menu. So notice the stat button on the second row here. If we hit that, the very first option is edit, which is where we're going to enter data. And there are some other options here which we won't worry about for now, but we'll edit the data entry. In the first column here, L1, the list one, I'm going to enter the year values. So again, starting with 1994, we'll set that as year zero. So we'll type in zero and then hit enter. The next value is two because it's 1996, two years later, then four, six, eight, and ten. Then we'll go over to list two and enter the values that were given the number in thousands of people over the age of 100. So to scroll over to list two, hit the right arrow key. And then in this first entry, we have 50 for 50,000. So I'll just enter 50. Then 56 for the next. Then 65. Then 75. Then 94. And finally 110. And again, those represent thousands, but we're given the values that are shown here. So now to graph this, if we right now go to the graph, we won't see anything. We have to do a couple of steps first. First of all, we have to tell the calculator that we want to plot a statistics plot. So notice that there's this y equals button up in the far left, and that's where we go when we want to graph algebraic equations, for instance. But notice in blue text on top of that, the second option is stat plot. So we'll hit second and that button to enter the stat plot. So notice that we can turn on several stat plots. We just need one. But notice that by default, they're turned off. And that's because the calculator wants to usually either plot algebraic things or statistical things. So rather than plotting them both together, you can turn one on or off. So I want to turn this on. So notice that the first one's selected. If we hit enter, we enter this menu. So the very first thing I need to do is turn it on so that it will be graphed. And then there are different types of plots that we can do. And we'll talk about some of these in the chapter on statistics. But for now, the one we want is this type that's already selected, the very first one. So that's a scatter plot with the dots shown. So if we wanted to change to a different type, you could scroll down here and use the arrow keys to move over and then use enter to select a different one. But we want that first type, so we'll just leave it as is. Then it asks us, what list did you put the x values in and what list did you put the y values in? We put the x's in list one and the y's in list two, so we don't have to change a thing and we'll just leave the rest of the options as they are. Now, if we hit graph, we still wouldn't see anything, most likely, because we wouldn't be looking at the right range of things. So we need to adjust the window so that we'll be sure to see the values that we're looking for. So if we go to this window option, we know that our x values, the years, the lowest one we had was zero, the highest one we had was 10. So just to be sure, Let's use negative 1 and 11 as the range of x values that we look at. So the lowest one will go down to negative 1 up to 11 to make sure that we hit from 0 to 10. Then the y values ranged from 50 up to 110. So just to be sure, let's put in 45 and 115. And rather than having the y scale as 1 and having a tick mark every 1, that would be hard to see. So let's make this every 10, for instance. Now when we graph, we can see the data laid out. And there are six data points, just like we entered six values in the calculator. So that's how to graph a set of points with the calculator like this. Under the stat menu, 
we enter the data, then we turn on a stat plot, and you usually have to adjust the window to see it.